as part of AppSec Engineer, we build a lot of vulnerable applications and vulnerable environments. And we usually use the concept of stories to build out these vulnerable applications or vulnerable environments. So I want to create a story generator or a specification generator that I can use to create intentionally vulnerable labs on AppSec Engineer. So Crew AI is probably one of the most popular frameworks that you can use to write agents. The lead developer is an absolute beast. He's working all the time. He's fixing PR. He's documenting really well. The project on the open source front is a top-notch project. I have no complaints. One of the reasons why Crew AI also is very popular, in my opinion, is because Crew AI actually makes it really easy for you to get started with doing this. Most other frameworks make you learn a lot of stuff and a lot of boilerplate. Crew AI also has some boilerplate that you need to do, but it makes it very easy for you to go through it. First of all, the docs are great. Their examples are great. So they have a lot of these examples that you can use for you to be able to use Crew AI. You can create your agent frameworks and so on and so forth very easily with Crew AI. I personally like it a lot and I started using this quite extensively. I've used this in a couple of production use cases as well. The reason why Crew AI also, I think, works really well is because one, it integrates almost seamlessly into the LangChain ecosystem. LangChain is basically a library or a set of libraries that can help you simplify your programming or your writing code in LLMs or writing integrations on top of LLMs. With LangChain, you can build out tools, which is basically things that you can interact with other APIs for, which you can use function calling and interact with other APIs for. You can talk to different LLMs. You can also use LangChain for retrieval augmented generation use cases where you want to be able to load a custom knowledge base into some kind of a vector database and then we use that to actually do similarity searches or vector searches, whatever it is that you want to do. Now, let's start with our Crew AI example first. Now, what we want to do is we want an agent to generate some stories or specifications for vulnerable applications, right? And it needs to give us not only the story and specification, it also needs to give us some example code and code snippets and so on. So it should be more than just vulnerable application story generator. It needs to help me actually create an actual spec for that application. And remember, when you're creating an intentionally vulnerable application, it needs to have very specific things. It needs to have a specific vulnerability being showcased. It needs to have some kind of a storyline, you know, some kind of a theme. It should be a bookstore app or something that's simple. It should not be too complicated. I need to showcase something very simple, like a forum or a simple search application, or whatever it is, right? So that's what I want to do. And I want to generate this you using an agent framework. The reason I choose to use an agent framework is simply because I can program different agents or different assistants to do this job and they will hopefully be able to help me get the job done. So that's basically what I want to do here.